The Galaxy M series has been a major change for Samsung. We work with them on the build up for it. We interviewed millennials on what the millennials actually wanted. Showing Samsung that and getting Samsung's reactions, we've covered the phones themselves that Samsung's come out with. And I thought it would be a nice full circle to wrap it all up by taking an in-depth look at the Exynos 7904 chip. The chip which has been front and center, right at the heart of the M series. And I mean, we have taken a look at quite a few chips in the past, right from high silicones to the Qualcomm chips. So why not the Exynos 7904, right? Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and let's get this video started. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. The Exynos 7904 debuted with the Galaxy M series. It first made its appearance on the Galaxy M20 and then later on on the M30 as well as the Galaxy A30. The 7904 chipset has done quite a bit to change our perception of Samsung's mid-rangers. So now here's the tech part. The Exynos 7904, it's an octa-core chipset. It comes in a 6 plus 2 configuration, 6 power efficient Cortex A53 cores that are clocked at 1.6 GHz each. Now these handle most of the normal workloads. And then we get two high powered, higher clocked uh, Cortex A73 cores. You know, these are clocked up to 1.8 GHz each and they are pressed into action for more demanding tasks such as video rendering or even intense gaming. Now speaking of gaming, we have the Mali G71 MP2 GPU in here. Now this handles most of the gaming scenarios pretty smoothly. Now I've actually done a dedicated video on the gaming performance of the 7904 in the past. So I'm not really going to retrade all that. Long story short, it can run most of the intense games, not flawlessly. We experienced some drop frames here and there, but the gaming experience was quite good overall. For the most part, it was quite good. Now, if you want to know more in detail, well, here's a card to that video. So do check that out. Now, the, this chipset, it is built on the 14 nanometer manufacturing process. And it even has some features that we haven't seen fully utilized yet. So for example, we've got 4K uh, video recording at 30 FPS and even 1080p video capture at 120 FPS. Now, while we've not seen these features being utilized in any of the M series phones, what we have seen is just how good this chip uh, is at sipping battery. Now, even with one UI on the Galaxy A30, the Exynos 7904 performed really well with regards to battery. You know, it maintained decent performance as well. On the connectivity front, the 7904 also has support for dual SIM, dual volt T, which these days is a must have, especially in India. Now, from an optics perspective, the ISP here can support either a single camera up to 32 megapixels or a triple camera with a bunch of features. Samsung has utilized this aspect of the chip to good results on say the M30, you know, that has a triple camera setup. The ISP here also enables electronic image stabilization and support for face deduction autofocus, which have again been uh, enabled on some phones. So. Uh, overall, the Exynos 7904, it seems to be a pretty capable mid-range chip from Samsung. And while we know it's pretty smooth on the optimized Samsung Experience UI that we've seen on the M series, I was pleasantly surprised to find how well it handled even the newer One UI on the Galaxy A30. Good job, Samsung. So that about wraps up my thoughts on the Exynos 7904 Octa. And that means it is time to wrap up this video. Uh, so. What do you guys think? You know, I thought it'll be a nice little summation of the M series. You know, we've been doing quite a few videos on that. So do you want to see more videos like this with where we kind of delve into the technical aspects as in uh, of particular chips? We've done that in the past for, you know, different uh, chipsets that have come out. Now, do you want to see it for any other particular chip, be it from Qualcomm or another Exynos, MediaTek or maybe a high silicone? Let me know in the comments below if you want any video on any particular chip and I will try to make that happen. So I guess that's it. It is time I bid you adieu. Share this video with friends and family if you can. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. And thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech. And I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.